Hey everybody, welcome back to TTWM, where we don't know what we're doing, but we try the best we can. So what we've got today is we've actually, um, we're going to put some teeth on our good woodland mill stump grinder here, but we've ran into a problem. Um, you can see there's different orientations here to the teeth. There are some that are flat against the wheel so we can get a ratchet on on there nice and easy even these that are offset 45 degrees they're a little bit tougher but we can still get our ratchet on there but then there's these teeth here that are sitting in this pocket you can see there's just no way that you can get a ratchet on there so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take and build us a special tool we're going to take a wrench we're going to straighten it out we're going to weld a socket onto it and that's going to allow us to get that eat off easier as well as applying torque better to it. So these torque to 160 foot pounds so we got to make sure that they're nice and tight. So stick around with us and see how we do it. All right guys so I can't tell you how much of an advocate that I am of building special tools. Anytime that you run into any situation where you don't have the right tool or you know you're something that you've got maybe works but maybe not quite as well build a tool you know it's just it, it makes your job easier makes your life easy all that stuff just absolutely don't be afraid of it that's how that snap on mac any of the tool companies that's how they most of the time how they have special tools made i have a drawer of special tools a lot of them that i've made and then some that i've found you can see this is going to be kind of the closest analog to what we're going to do. We're going to take a box end, we're going to weld a socket to it or a, a drive end to it so that we can make a torque adapter. So they make these new. <clears throat> Here's what they look like new from, this one's a Grand Co and this one's a Snap-on. Um, these guys, this guy's like $70 or so new but there's no use in spending that much money when you can make your own so basically this is all we're going to do i've got this um it's a mac square drive adapter i just took the uh this is a three eighths a half inch adapter i just took the three eighths mail drive out of it so that i can weld it more flush then this is a craftsman 15 16 wrench basically i'm going to cut it about right here and then just weld this guy onto it but first i want to go ahead and straighten it out so that it can be flat and so that i'll get a better torque value and again like i say if you're going to make your own special tools definitely use good quality stuff so that it'll hold up don't use a lot of times people use the cheap stuff which i totally get but it just won't last as long so definitely if you're going to do this if you need it at once, you're probably going to need it again, so at least invest in quality, even if you're going to cut it up. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take the bend out of this. Combination wrenches are typically bent at 15 degrees, so I want it bent at zero degrees. I want it completely straight. So I'm going to heat it just right here at the bend, just push it just a little bit, and that should be good enough. So I didn't get it exactly as straight as I wanted to. As we can see, I've got it a little bit of a bend still here, but for the most part, the axis is parallel between the top of the box end and the top of the beam. So I'm actually gonna use this to my benefit. What I'm gonna do is whenever I cut it and I weld my socket to it, I'm actually gonna weld it on the top of the lower portion if that makes sense so it's going to be welded here 
so that my ratchet or torque wrench will connect here so that my I guess the center of gravity or the the center of the turn is going to be closer this way than it would be here because this is higher so if that makes sense that's how we're going to do so basically what I'm going to do is just cut it right here So we've just had to have a little pizza break, so now we're back at it. <clears throat> so we can see what we've got here. We've got the wrench that we're going to use. We've got our square drive adapter. So and then this is going to be our clamp that we're going to use to clamp together. This is a cant twist clamp. So basically it's a one-handed clamp. Super convenient if you guys haven't used a cant twist clamp before. Highly recommend it. Can't, can't live without it welding. But <clears throat> basically we're going to put the adapter on the low side so we're going to hold it like this we're going to make sure that the square end is you know as, as nice as possible we'll try to get it straight with with our body and then try to get it <clears throat> kind of flush along the beam so we're going to go ahead and get our get everything clamped together so we can see here that we've got pretty decent looking setup so the nice thing about using this craftsman wrench is the beam gives us some gives us a gap to weld to so we'll go ahead and, and weld her up and we'll have us a nice little torque adapter So that's our finished torque adapter. Like I say, we don't really know what we're doing, but we try to do it well. At least we'll try to figure out what we're doing, you know, develop an idea of whatever needs to be done. Like I say, if you run into a situation where you need a special wrench, don't be afraid to make it. You see that it was pretty simple. Uh, we'll go ahead and put it on the stump grinder, kind of test it out. You can see uh, it looks like I did miss my square just a little bit. It's twisted a little, but uh, that's fine. It's not going to hurt my feelings. Wish it was a little better, but eh, it's good enough for a working man, right? All right, so we're back at the stump grinder. We're going to see if that made any difference. So we're going to look at the pockets here, the bolts in the pockets. We're actually going to take anything really. I'm just going to take a pry bar make it a stop right here we're going to pull against it against the frame itself we're going to try first just a regular 15 16 or 24 millimeter wrench we're going to put just the single wrench in here and it'll probably come off but it's probably going to be heavier than what we need it to be so 
that actually came off a lot easier than what I thought it would be. So I'm actually kind of afraid that these were under torqued. So that's again, another reason why that we're gonna use this adapter. So you can see that it came off pretty easily. So let's see how much torque we can put on it just with a wrench by hand. So we're gonna move our stop bar over to here now. So, that's probably as much as I can put on it by hand there. But now let's try out our new adapter socket, our new adapter wrench. So just put it on there, see how it went on nice and easily. You can see how it's gonna fit in the pocket. I'm gonna give myself as much room to turn this way as possible. Then we're gonna grab a ratchet. Now I've got a long 24 inch ratchet. So if you guys don't have a long 24 inch ratchet, that's gonna be something that I highly recommend that you get. So we're gonna go ahead and put the ratchet in it. Let's see how much more we can turn it. See how much more? Obviously I'm not turning it with a torque wrench. I just wanted to show you know, hey, there's there's a lot more to go. So I turned that at least another quarter turn. And what we're going to do now, now that I've actually got the appropriate special tool to be able to torque it, we're actually going to go over to my buddy Hank's house and we're going to replace a couple of these teeth and then we're going to use the stunt grinders. Now that we've actually completed the job that we needed to use this wrench for, I can't tell you how handy it was. There would have been no way to complete the job to get the, prop, uh, the proper torque values without this guy here. So like I said it during the video, if you run into issues, don't be afraid to make your special wrenches your own special tools. Just kind of take a second step back, think about what you need, or even look to see if there is a tool that exists, and then copy it essentially. So stick around with us. We're gonna learn all kinds of other fun stuff. We're just gonna figure out what we need to do in other videos to make life around the house and around the property easier. If you like this kind of content, make sure that you check out our other videos. Thanks a lot and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.